Hello, my name is Brandon Goodyear, and I'm here to give you some tips on plant cloning. Now, let me first show you, I kind of thought plant cloning was just something simple. You just kind of take a piece of the plant, kind of rip it off, dig a hole, put it in the ground, water it, and that's it. But plant cloning is a lot more complicated than that. First of all, to clone a plant, you need to use sterile equipment, like a knife or something. You need to cut off a small piece of the plant. And then, using that piece, you have to be very careful, because if you get it dirty or anything, you can harm the plant. Now, according to PlanetNatural.com, you have to use premium soil. I can't just use some of this stuff that I have right here, because that's all dirty and it has sticks in it and stuff. You have to use, like, premium soil, sand, or anything that will be clean for your new plant cloning kind of starter to actually live and survive. Now that we have our nice clean soil, we can now start to clone our plant. First, you need to dig a very uh, nice small hole in it. You can excavate some of the dirt. And then you put the plant clone in there. And then, you water it. Now that we've watered the plant, we can check the pH level. Now, a general rule of thumb, according to PlanetNatural.com, is that you should check your pH level daily. And the average pH level for a plant is about 5.5 to 6.5. If you take good care of your plant, and water it correctly, not giving it too much water or too little water, it'll grow to be like this. Well, thanks for watching my video on plant cloning. And remember, plant cloning isn't as easy as it sounds. And uh, here's a few more tips you can do. Uh, make sure that you pick your clipping during uh, a medium warm part of the day. Oops. Make it grow better. Um, Humidity is very good, so if you have a humid place for it, but remember, plants do need air, so uh, make sure that you have a place for it to have uh, plenty of air. Um, don't overwater your uh, plant, because that will cause it to wither and die, uh, but don't underwater it, because it will die from that too. Thanks for watching my video, and uh, hope these tips helped.